welcome back to another tutorial on how to create a game with ultimate survival. Most of you have been waiting a bit of time for me to come back from vacation, or well, somewhat of a vacation, and my way of saying thank you to everyone is to give you a chance to win an asset. That's why I'm going to give away a copy of Enviro, the weather and day night system that's available on the asset store. All you need to do is share this video, either on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever miscellaneous social media platform you're using and put a nice funky comment in there saying how awesome and fantastic I am or anything else you really want to put in there as long as it's not too offensive or has any bad words in there in case any children are deciding to use the internet and what is Enviro? Well it's a day-night weather system it's a lot like some of the other expensive day-night weather systems out there but a fraction of the cost and it's, it's it is pretty fantastic, it was so easy to integrate, it actually took me a little over 15 minutes and that was just because I was copying and pasting and trying to find where the files are. Hopefully going to make that a little bit easier so it would actually take you about maybe 5 minutes to integrate Enviro into your ultimate survival project. One of the main problems with Unity is that these old trees that you get with ultimate survival aren't really compatible so I've used speed tree trees, the free ones you get with Unity in the standard assets. I've sped up Enviro so that the day and night cycle will be short and you can see the sun is setting now, there's the beams coming through the trees and you know that would take a lot longer but we've got a three minute day and night cycle and the stars have come out. Sometimes when I've just played about randomly I've been in a thunderstorm and other such freaky weather events happening you can tweak Enviro to your heart's content and have biomes and areas where maybe different weather might be uh, more frequent and all oh, clouds have gone so now it's a clear starry sky sometimes I've been in really big deep fog or you know, deep fog fog? yeah fog with an F not a TH that would be something different I'm a bit wary now because with uh, the day-night cycle the enemies are going to be a little bit more uh, prominent. They're going to be coming out. Let's just blow one in the face and then... Oh, missed him. Run away. Run away. Okay, that's my poor aim. So, uh, there we go. Got him. Right, so now that I've uh, shown how great I am at FPS games, Oh, the sun's coming out. It's going to be morning soon. So um, let's pop over into Unity. I'm going to use. Oh, it's a sunrise. I'm going to pop into Mono Develop. Or. I can't even remember what editor I used to use. Where did I use to use? Does anyone remember? Put a comment below. Okay, so we've got five files that we're going to be editing. Really quick and easy. First one is going to be the AI group. CS file and that's where we're just going to change to see if we can check that it's day or night using uh, Enviro. We're going to have the Crosshair Manager file and that's to just basically change a tooltip in the game. That's all it is. The sleeping bag, we're going to use that to uh, check to see if we can um, sleep at night using Enviro. And then we've got the player sleep handler you can increase the speed of time progression while sleeping and go back to normal speed on wake up and then we've got lamp and I love lamp here we want to add Enviro on the uh, nighttime and on daytime events to toggle lamp I love lamp and if you're looking for Enviro on the asset store you can find it under scripting and effects subfolder and it's by Hendrik Hoped. Say so say so pronounce it? Hoped? Hoped? Sounds German, so you have to pronounce it with a German or maybe a Dutch accent. So I don't think he's ever gonna speak to me ever again. But it's okay. I've got you guys a license key for Enviro. So don't forget to share, click, like, subscribe, and then I'll just pick your name out of a hat and you could win a copy of Enviro. Here we are in our scene and I found, it's been so long it took me a while to even find the last tutorials that I was working on. I've imported Enviro and you get a load of uh, warnings, well, 
just ignore them. I was told that you don't have to worry about it. And uh, there's a load of. Um, oh, I'm just going to click clear. Let's click clear and hope for the best. Okay, so um, here's the time of day that you get with Ultimate Survival. So let's just turn you off so you don't get in our way. And uh, let's just turn off the whole thing there. And I'm going to. Um, here's the game controller that you get with our scene of you get with Ultimate Survival. And let's just check in. Right, let's look for. Um, what's it called? Enviro. Sky, here it is. We want this the Enviro Sky prefab, and I'm currently using version 1.8. So, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably like 2.9 or whatever because these guys like to update their kids quite frequently. I'm going to drag you into Game Controller, and here we go Enviro Sky. Look here on the right hand side in my inspector, you can see that we've got player and player camera. So just click on that nice little circly thing, and I want to find the male. Oh yeah, here we go, male player. Okay, here he goes, and the player camera. Don't be too confused. Don't put the FP camera. We want to put in here the world camera. I know, it took me a bit of time as well to get my head around that. One. Okay, um, down here you can play about with other settings to your content later. But for now, that's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. And let's pop over to our where are you hiding mail player? Our mail player. Open up the look root and FP camera. Mm, where's that bloom? Yeah, I've already turned off the bloom effect. I didn't like it. Really. It was a bit too if you know. Um the creator of Enviro recommends turning off bloom. If you haven't already done it, I've done it already in the past. And up here on the clear flags, make sure it's set to depth only. It should already be set, but just make sure that when you're playing about it is depth only. Sometimes you could accidentally change it. And if it isn't, then you won't be able to actually see much while you're playing the game. Alright, that's all we're going to play about with in the inspector and our prefab. So let's pop into our editor. And I worked out which one I was going to use. And this time I'm going to use Visual Studios. Well, it's free. I've got the free one, so let's play about. Let's start in the AI group file, and that's under Ultimate Survival.ai and Gameplay. So here's AI group. If we go down to the try spawn, and um, oh, let's put our word wrap. Where's our word wrap? Here we go. That's better. All right. So we want to change the night condition and the daytime condition. Um, just going to comment out the original one and through the magic of paste here's what we're putting in so we're going to change so we've still got here ball night condition instead of time of day we're going to be using enviro sky and that's a lowercase i for instance here dot is night ampersand ampersand and we've got here the m underscore spawn mode so that's going to have value that's true there and now we've got equals equals spawn mode dot at night Okay, so first thing, now we need to change the day night condition. Same kind of thing. Oh, let's comment, comment that one out. And here we are, we've got exactly the same as we had above, but an exclamation mark in front of Enviro Sky. And that's it for this file. We're going to pop over to the Crosshair Manager. Oh, don't forget to save. Yeah, don't forget. It's a good point to save your file before you continue does help. Next we'll be editing the Crosshair Manager file that lives inside the Automa Survival GUI system folder, gameplay folder, and then the others, and then you can see it on the left Crosshairs Manager. You want to scroll down and find where are you? Oh, again we need to set that's a bit annoying. It should be set to full toggle word. So that's a bit better. Now you can see things. And where are you hiding? Here it is, down the bottom. Grab messages. So we want this one. Grab message. Set text for the time of day instance. Okay, let's copy. Let's comment you out and replace you because we want to change this to be the Enviro Sky. So we've got exactly the same as above. 
but this time we're saying in virus guy instance is night that's it for the crosshairs managers and again don't forget to save let's click save this is another quick one we're in the sleeping bag and the sleeping bag lives inside the uh, ultimate survival player interaction folder if we go down here to this if statement and I'll just comment him out so you can see the difference and now we've got like before we're changing time of day to Enviro Sky and that's the, the equivalent so that's all we had to do here and click save God, this is quick isn't it next one is going to be in the player folder like we had before but instead of interaction it's in MISC that's our player sleep handler file let's scroll down we're going to be changing three things in this file and the first one is this the int current hour time of day let's comment you out and put in the Enviro instance game time hours. I'm going to click save just in case anything explodes. And under here you can see this while. Let's comment you out so you can see the difference. We've got Enviro Sky instance get time hours like we had above. And the next one we're going to do is this one here. You can see a pattern. We're just changing the time of day once to the Enviro Sky. And put in a semicolon at the end of that click save that's it for the player sleep handler file the last one is the lamp CS and actually that was back in interaction so let's pop back in interaction interaction and find lamp is lamp right now I gotta warn you we'll be doing a lot of um, copy and pasting so I'll just paste in the code in the description I will break my rule for now mainly because I've been given a lot of this code so I don't actually have to worry about it let's go down to and to here we go the start I'm gonna comment out this entire block and let's go view word wrap now I've pasted in the code I got from Enviro pretty much just telling us to use the Enviro instance we're gonna go down a little bit more now for these last two the on change time day state so let's comment out this entire block just commenting out so you can see it and let's paste in the code that we get for Enviro Let's just change this to a toggle with a ball toggle here, and we've got rid of this else debug. All right, and let's comment out our on destroy. Paste in the last bit of free code we got from the Enviro guide, and like magic, here it is. So, a bit more code than you got with the standard on destroy, and actually pretty much like we had on the on start. Right, let's click save pop back into unity and see if anything's exploded and just like my conscience the console is clear All right, let's click play and um, see what happens here I am in my scene that we had from the previous tutorials you can see that I've got a nice clear sky Enviro, I've, I've split it up a little bit but not too much so the day night cycle is going to be quick clouds are going to be moving fast so remember to set yours at a nice respectable day night cycle so to make sure that your world isn't set to spin too fast oh and we've got a fog random event now we've got a fog nice okay this is going to be a little bit scary with our mutant skeleton zombies going around but as you can see, Enviro, it does mix things up. It's got some nice effects. There's the sun setting in the distance. Beautiful sunset. And night's going to fall. It's going to be a foggy, dark night. And then we'll get a nice sunrise. Alright guys, that was it for the tutorial. Don't forget to uh, enter our competition to get a copy of Enviro. All you need to do is be a subscriber, click like, comment on this video and then share it on your favourite social media platform. Alright, it's been so long since I've done a video, I'm forgetting what I normally say at the end of it. 
um, something like, if you like it, click it. And that, by it, I mean that nice subscribe and like button. Until next time, see you guys. If you want to see more on the Ultimate Survival series, click on the links on the left side of your screen. And if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please click subscribe. It's in that big button that's down below. And there's next to it, there's a little magic bell. And when you click that bell, it tells you when there's a new video out. So cheers, thanks for all the support.